If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code Inception at checkout. I think popularity wise, people are always going to go with the skill moves over the weak foot. Um, but I'll probably review the weak foot one as well since it's still an SPC, right? Okay, guys. So for today, we have Openda to check out. So with Openda, power header and quick stab. Brother, you need aerial if you're going to have a power header. No aerial. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, guys, listen. Openda, from past experience, this guy is an R trigger merchant. Okay, like he's literally an art trigger merchant, like the way that he normally perf uh, performs. He's an art trigger merchant. Um, we'll see if that's going to be the case with this card. He has quick step plus and power header plus. Finesse shot, chip shot, rapid. Technical with Trivella. Uh, I mean, it's a finisher. You, you would give him anything else? It's got to be a finisher because the pace is already perfect and you want to be able to improve the dribbling while uh but the ball control dribbling hmm. it's got to be a finisher chemistry style flex for him period because you got to boost the shooting as well as the dribbling but then certain things are going to be low but I don't think he's a type to like really dribble that much. Like I said, he's just an hard trigger merchant for the most part, right? So um, with the finisher, we will be giving him a boost in the finishing and dribbling department. Do, 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 do. Okay, so. <clears throat> Did they change the stats? Can I check that? Is that like a thing here? Hold on, let me see. I think it's the same card because they do, they've done that with, I think, the regular players too, if I'm not mistaken. But just to make sure, you know, just to make sure. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's just uh, the play styles, they just change the image of it. So you see the quick steps at the bottom, power headers at the top, right? See, you can say that this depends on play style, but I, still, I always feel like skill moves is way more important, you know? I always feel that personally. But the more popular option will definitely be the skill moves one, for sure. Um, on a finisher, agility. So his ball control is on the lower side. Okay. Passing is not crazy, but it's decent. Physical, he does have some physical stuff too. If I give him a sniper, what's the improve? No, I can't because sniper doesn't touch the uh, the finishing. I don't think. Yeah, no, no chance. Marksman. Uh, I wouldn't put it past some people to give him a marksman. Maybe you know, finisher chemistry style though gives him the shooting and the dribbling boost. I think that's important because of the five star skill moves especially. But yeah, uh, we'll go ahead and unlock the card and I'll show you guys how we light them up. Okay, so we uh, put a quick little team together here for the SPC account. You know what would have been really nice on this account? That Ito Radioactive card, man. For like the Bundesliga links, right? But regardless, uh, we'll try him out in the striker position. Xavi Simmons actually has an upgrade, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Can I use Fulrich there? No, because the Leipzig links. Okay, cool. That's fine. We'll just uh, we'll rock it like this, and we will go from there. Yeah, let's go see what he's like. I showed them the first time touch downwards, huh? Do your duty, Openda. Do your duty, Openda, our trigger merchant. <laughs> How 
the pass actually wasn't that bad. I just did a a bad one in the circumstances. Our trigger merchant, our trigger merchant, our trigger merchant. You win that? When you give someone power header, like they need to have aerial men and add, like I notice it so much in this game, honestly. Pass it off. Aw. Rough angle, rough angle, but it's good to try. Ooh! All right, Hepa. This guy's uh, this guy's scoring some goals for me right now, huh? He's scoring some goals for me, bro. Oh, nice try. <laughs> you got tossed, my boy. You got tossed. Oh, uh, maybe I could have done a different shot animation there. Our trigger merchant, our trigger merchant, our trigger. Uh, I'm telling you guys, like, I, I did I try the Champions League this year? I'm pretty sure that's how I know he's. Well, it might have been like from last year, too, honestly. Because sometimes uh, it just transfers over, you know? Oh, almost, almost, almost. Almost, almost. I need to evil this drone Felix, man. <laughs> you know, you saw a panda doing the thing already. Be mindful of the touches for sure. Oh, if I actually get the shot off there, it'd be nice. Must be nice feeling always having gift you anything. Oh, I have to try hard now. Was that gifted too, or was that gifted too, or was that gifted with manual defense? Go, Openda. Oh, I should have shot it across, I guess. Nice and easy, this. Just staying patient. Now, Felix. Attempt yet to appear. Ooh. Oh, and I don't get the green on it. Uh. There he goes, being an R-Trigger merchant. That's what he is, man, I'm telling you. And we score. We'll take that. Gotta make sure you get those greens on it, my dude. Oh, 
Told you, bro. Nah, <laughs> I'm so familiar with his playstyle from before, man. I'm not even joking, dude. He's such an art trigger merchant, man. Oh, nice try, nice try. Ooh, that was rough. That was a rough finesse shot. Over the R1. Go back out. Bro, I was about to say, like, did I do the wrong did I do the wrong SPC? I just did the skill move twice there, and the game's like, nah, you didn't you didn't do it. Nah, no chance. No chance. I couldn't get the green on it. I gotta try it though, man. You never know. I don't think that's gonna really be his play style, but that's why we gotta try it out, you know? I never know. Whoop. Whoop. Pass it in. There you go. Ah, no green, no green. There we go, man. Little power header right there. Why not? That works. Makes that runner behind. We just pass it back to João Felix. A good little goal there. Still worked out. Little run. Technical. Run again. Technical. No! Hey, listen. Uh, normally I would settle it because he has actually he's, he actually has a space, but because of the power header, I gotta try it out, you know? I gotta try it out, my dude. We'll take it. We'll take it. Oh my goodness. Start off hot with a quick step and then bang. We'll take it. Good stuff, good stuff. Nice. Typical meta stuff. There he goes. And I hit the crossbar. Because I didn't green it. Lil. Oh, I didn't I didn't expect that random touch. Oh, the defender still gets it. Does well to win the ball there. I didn't time it correctly there. <sighs> oh. Too 
too much of a push touch there. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. White time, do we scorch? The Yard Trigger Merchant strikes again. Yeah, you, you just don't even bother with those. Like, you might be able to score from time to time, it's just not really a thing with him. Finish. <laughs> it's it's a linear playstyle with him, but like that's what he does, man. Another one. He stopped playing, but might as well take the strikes, you know? Is this guy gonna like dip or are we just gonna... Is this, is this what the vibes are gonna be right now? Guy's pausing, I don't know what he's pausing for. It needs to be like a mercy rule in FIFA. Like, if you score 10 goals against someone, the game stops. Like, you just get the win, you know? I've always thought this should be the, the case with uh with this game. Because sometimes, like, you'll get to a point where it's, like, 4-5. or five, And then it's just kind of like, you're just, like, the dude's just there, you know? It'd be like that. I'll take that. I would have left the game by now, like, because it's the SPC account. I don't really care about results. So you guys know when it comes to reviews, I couldn't care less. Um, but I am evoing the Saliba at the same time. I think this might be his last game, so. Oh, we still have it. No. Okay. Coolio, Coolio. By the way, when it comes to dribbling, like if you give him the finisher, you do feel his left stick being a certain way for sure. Like it's, he definitely has like a little bit of a physical element behind, but it, all you do with this card is this. Bang. Not like that with a weak foot. <laughs> that was a horrible strike. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. A green doesn't score. That's Those ones are weird, especially when you're like really facing at that angle, eh? Oh, crossbar. Oh, I got it! Oh, but the trackback's still too fast, man. It's so fast, dude, and I got it, man. Might as well try one, man. Might as well. You're so pathetic. Thank you, sir. 
family disappointment. Taking this game seriously, eh? For results and stuff. I don't know about that one, Chief. Okay, guys, let's talk about Openda. Uh, guys, listen, this is a very, like, linear playstyle type of player, you know? Um, what he's going to be able to do in a team for his playstyle, which is being an art trigger merchant and getting into those positions to strike the ball, that's his main playstyle. I'm not even kidding. Like, I, I, I know this because... I don't know which version did I try out this year. Did I try out this card, guys? Was he an SBC or something? I'm pretty sure I tried. It's either this year or previous years where it just transfers over to the game nowadays. Listen, man. If you guys are an R-Trigger merchant and you just kind of go for those runs in behind the defense to get into your goal-scoring opportunities, the card is still going to do a decent job. I understand the like-to-dislike ratio on the card because... Um, I would say like the finishing is, or not the finishing, excuse me, the dribbling on the card is going to be weird from time to time because he has like a physical element to it because, you know, you're not really messing with the ball control a lot, which honestly is uh, with him. It's just about getting into the right position at the right time and then just striking the ball right away, right? Because when he does get into the situations, guys, he hits the ball pretty cleanly, to be honest, right? Like a lot of the times that I miss the opportunities is one, because I didn't green it, which is a huge variable in this game. And two, I just didn't get the right angles specifically with him, right? But he scored a lot of goals for me. I would say in the that one game that we play where we score 11, I would count like three of those, right? So that's like, I guess we would like minus the seven or the eight or something. Um, seven, eight, but like four goals in like 11, four, four, four matches, 11 goals, 10, you know? He plays the exact same way that I expected him to, to be honest with you. It's just an R trigger merchant. It's like this guy, if you do a through pass to him, he he does a good job of being through on goal. The finishing comes off uh, right if you, you know, time it correctly. If you don't time it, he still hits it pretty nicely. There was moments where in that very last game, the very first goal that we scored, I did like an L1 flick and he did a white time shot and still hit it to the bottom left corner, right? So... It's just one of those types of SBCs where, like, people are not going to really use him over, like, Timo Werner or anything like that, right? But to say the card is garbage, it's not garbage, man. He actually, for the role that he plays in a team, he does it well. He's an R-Trigger merchant, gets into positions, and if you strike the ball cleanly enough, he scores them. That's what he is. There's, a, I wouldn't say there's a lot of cards that only, like, every single year, I always tell you guys, it's always, like, uh, Inaki Williams is a really good example of that. That's an R Trigger Merchants card too. I don't know if he's still good nowadays if they give him a promo, but that's what he is. That's his play style, right? That's what Openda is. It's just an R Trigger Merchant get into the position and score. <laughs> you know? So if you enjoy that sort of play style, I think e even Easy SBC, these guys, they, they called it out perfectly, right? Like it's just uh, definitely one for the pace merchants out there. That's what he is, literally. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this review today. I'll catch you guys for the next one, man. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys. Now, if that's the play style that you're going for, the skill moves are the weak foot. There's no clear and obvious choice because the stats are the exact same. So it's going to really, really depend on what you feel like you want the most. Do you want the five-star weak foot for the finishing to be even better with the weak foot being even better? You could totally do that. And it would actually do pretty well in the card. You just got against those positions. Getting behind instruction needs to be forced out of this car because that's just his play style, right? And a five-star weak foot, again, would not be a bad choice to get really get those shots off. Um, and then there's the skill moves, which in my opinion, I feel like skill moves is important because once you come up against the actual park the bus merchants, right, that do not move players, you kind of need skill moves to get past them, you know, like the L1 into the Elastico and all that kind of stuff, right? The quick step in the rapid is going to be helpful to, you know, do an Elastico and then accelerate into the position right away and then score right away. So it's really play style wise. It's not the same situation as like a Sterling versus or an Ice Sterling versus a Fire Sterling or anything like that. It's really just going to depend on the play style that you want and what you feel like you want in most of the situations, okay? The main thing is the obvious, like, physical side to his, like, dribbling. Like, he, obviously, he was always going to have it, right? Like, very, very few people have average and normal with dribbling stats like this. And they're going to be, like, uh, actual, like, dribbling left stick monsters. Like, that first touch Korea card I reviewed the other day, right? But, it, guys, he's an art trigger merchant card. If that's your play style, then he's going to do pretty well for you, right? That's that's pretty much what it is. Do I personally prefer to use the Koreas, the Werners, all that kind of stuff? As Zeb was like, yeah, that's just, that's just me, right? But... We scored a lot of goals with them, guys, so, you know, uh, the meta of this game, counterattack and get through a goal and shoot it, you know.
Anyways, guys, I'll catch you guys for the next video, all right? Peace out, dudes. Love you guys. I think comparison-wise, like, during that time period with Sterling, it was, like, people preferred the weak foot over the skill moves. But, like, if you went in the skill moves direction, it wouldn't, been, it wouldn't have been horrible, right? But, like, there was a few things that were different, I guess, right? Let's look at the Sterling card versus Fire versus Ice, right? A little, some stats differences, right? So there's more of a, a variable there, right? So, yeah.